Hey, you might be wondering how you can perform the financial due diligence on a multifamily property. If so, you found the right video. Hey, let's go ahead and cue in that intro. Hey, how's it going, friend? Juan Pablo here. First and foremost, thank you so much for visiting this channel because on this channel, we like to focus on the three pillars. You heard it, three pillars to financial freedom, which are personal finance, funding, and real estate investing. Now, if you're new, make sure you like, subscribe, so that way YouTube, the algorithm, can do its thing in regard to providing with additional videos to help you along your journey towards financial freedom. So without further ado, let's dive into the topic. So we're, we're discussing financial due diligence. So what is financial due diligence? That's pretty much taking a look at all the income and the expenses of a property to make sure that it coincides with the information that the seller provided on the listing. So the listing pretty much shares the numbers of the property, the income, the revenue, in other words, the expenses, the cost, in other words, and then it lets you know what the potential cash flow or your return could be on this investment. So once you get a property under contract, you then have to switch hats. You have to switch from being an investor to an investigator, investigator, meaning you have to investigate all these numbers. So first thing is the income because the seller may say, oh yeah, this property is producing $5,000 a month in rent. Is it really? Let's verify that. Let's see what the leases say. Also, let's see what public assistance say. Let's see what the market rent say. Because if you say 5,000 a month, but hey, I, I've checked all these resources, let's say public assistance, section eight. I also checked other websites to see what the going market rate is in this area. And I'm showing 3,500. So how are you able to outperform the market? How are you able to get $5,000 a month in rent? but the market is getting 3,500. Please provide a letter of explanation. So that's what you do with the income in short. Now in regard to expenses, you do some of the similar thing where you see the seller might say, okay, there's $10,000 per month in expenses. And that could be things such as property, uh, property management expense. Uh, it could be uh, property taxes. It can also be utilities, water, sewer, electric, trash, uh, gas, it can be many, many things of the sort. And there could be other expenses like HOA. There could be many different expenses, right? But let's say it's 10,000. Then what you want to do is still wearing that investigator hat. You want to verify each and every expense to make sure it's legit. And one of the best ways we do that is by requesting, you, let's say utility bills, for instance, uh, trailing 12 of utility bills from the seller. So that way we can take a look at all the, 12 mean the past 12 months. So we can take a look at all the utility bills for the past 12 months. Now the seller, unfortunately may not be organized. It may not have all the documentation and a pretty bow just to email it over to you in a split second. So you might have to do additional research. You may have to call third party information such as the utility company. You might have to call the water company to verify these expenses. Because sometimes the seller may understate the expenses. They might say the expenses is 10,000 and then when you perform your due diligence on the expenses, you realize it's actually 14,000. And not to say that the seller is doing this maliciously, the seller could uh, mistakenly uh, misquote it. They might not be as organized or they might have valid explanations. So for instance, one time I was performing due diligence and um, and by the way, this is all about multifamily I'm, I'm discussing. We have a free training about multifamily. So just check the link below in the description to learn more. But I remember one time I was doing, I was buying a six unit and I've noticed that the seller said the water bill was about 2000 for the year, but uh, it was a little bit higher for my due diligence. And he said, oh, well, there's a valid explanation for that one problem. He said in the months of June and July, we actually had a water break so as a result of a water break, there was a ton of water. So a water bill went through the roof, you know, sky high. But after we got a repair, the water bill normalized to what it normally is. And he, he provided us proof of the repair, as well as proof of the water bills before June, and July, and after June, and July, showing what the average water bill will be. So that, that time of June, and July was just 
an anomaly where he had a, a water break, a sewer line break, and the water bill was, was extremely high. So that's what you want to do, my friend, in regards to performing the financial aspect of the due diligence. Now, if you're interested in learning more about real estate investing, multifamily investing, how to invest in your backyard or out of state using creative financing and so forth, then what I want you to do is check the link below in the description to learn more. As always, guys, this is to your success. Seeing it earn passively, live passionately. Peace.